Hi, my name is John Voles. I'm a physical therapist and exercise specialist with Healthy Habits Keto Wellness in Algonquin, Illinois. I'll be bringing you exercise tips once a week here on SeniorSpotChicago.com. Okay, today we're going to talk about balance uh, and balance difficulties that some seniors have. As, as people get older, they tend to start losing their balance, uh, and that can become kind of dangerous, especially if they're uh, prone to falls. So I have Norma here. She's going to help me demonstrate a couple of balance assessments and balance activities that you can do at home or at the gym or wherever you decide to, to exercise. So come on over here, Norma. First thing I, w I would start Norma with uh, is just standing with her feet together. And when she stands with her feet together, that narrows her base of support so it's easier for her to lose her balance from side to side or from front to back. And she's doing fine here, but what I, what I would have her do next, if this looked good, would be to close her eyes. And again, if somebody has some balance problems, particularly if they have inner ear balance difficulties, she would sway from side to side and would probably have to open her eyes or else she would lose her balance. Okay, but this looks very good. Uh, another simple assessment that you can do at home is simply standing on one foot. Now, if somebody has serious balance problems, they wouldn't be able to do this, and I probably wouldn't even ask them to try, but balance, Norma's balance is actually pretty good, and so I would have her work on this um, in a couple of different ways. We're going to get to the trampoline in just a second, but for right now, I just want her to stand on this surface for between 30 seconds and a minute, and that's, that usually gives me a pretty good indication that their balance is very good. So go ahead and switch feet. Now you notice a little bit of shaking on that side. So she has a little bit of instability on her right leg when she stands on one foot. That's something that I would probably identify and, and try to work with her a little bit more on. Okay, so we're going to go back to the trampoline now and try something a little bit more challenging. Now you probably don't have a trampoline at home like most people. Uh, so I'm going to show you something in a minute that you can do at home that's, that's very convenient and works much in the same way as standing on, on an unstable surface like this. So just like before, I'd like to have Norma stand with her feet together like she is, and that looks pretty good. Um, now close your eyes. Okay, there we go. You, you might have noticed a little bit of swaying from side to side. So what Norma's feet and her legs are trying to tell her is that she's standing on an unstable surface and she has to readjust constantly, otherwise she might lose her balance. Okay, open them back up again. Now we tried the single leg standing before on the floor, it's going to be a little bit harder to do on the trampoline. So go ahead and stand on either foot. Okay, notice a little more difficulty standing on one foot on the trampoline, which makes sense because she's standing on an unstable surface. She has to work a little bit harder to keep her balance. But it's, this is very good. Um, okay, switch legs. <laughs> All right, something important right there uh, in terms of balance, she lost her balance for just a second, but she had the reaction time and the ability, the capability, to right herself again. That's another thing that I, that I look at. If somebody loses their balance, but they're able to regain it again, that's, uh, that's really important for safety, especially at home if they're alone. Okay, good enough. All right, thanks for joining us. Make sure you come back next week for more exercise tips on SeniorSpotChicago.com.